if I don't have a hardened heart, um, or I do, how, how does the state of my heart actually affect what is true and what is real? Okay, I, I think that's exactly what we need to talk about right now. What is true is objectively true regardless of what you believe. I think we can all agree to that. That being said... Well, so actually, no, there were suppositions even before you get there, but okay. You know, let's assume that the universe is real, that you can learn something about it, and, you know, there are ways to distinguish between whether it's a good model or a bad model of the universe, like its predictive capability or something. Okay, so let me tell you where your heart comes into this, because um, I think that's sort of what DPR Jones was talking about. Right now, you guys are operating in, you know, your worldview, which states, to the best of my ability, or my best of what I understand, you guys do not believe in God. Will that be fair to say? That would be fair to say. There, there are two reasons. Um, the, of the God hypothesis is a model without predictive utility, and there is no um, reasonable case to suppose that it's accurate. That being said, you also did admit to the possibility that he could exist. That is I also that's... admitted to the possibility that the universe doesn't exist, but um, okay. I'm willing to accept that. I, I, uh, well, let, me, let me make it easier for you, Sean. I'll answer both of those questions. Uh, very quickly. I do not believe in there, that there is a God, but I accept that there is a, possi a possibility that one exists. Great. Now, imagine, if you would, for a moment, that the only way of approaching this God... Well, actually, sorry, let me start again. As a Christian, I believe that atheism itself, as a belief, it coexists alongside the existence of God. That is to say, God exists and atheists exist. Are you with me so far? Isn't that non-biblical? I uh, know. Uh, one of the psalms. Uh, David... Hovind himself has said, baby um, Hovind, um, that atheists don't exist. It says so in the Bible. Oh, it does say that everyone to a degree knows that God exists, but they suppress the knowledge of the truth and darken their knowledge. It does say that. So you can go from knowing God exists to not believing he exists. And it says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. So the Bible is... There's no Luke situation again. This is not you convincing. Well, that's not my uh, argument. May I continue? Please do, Sean. You've got to the stage, um, I think you were saying that um, God and atheism run concordant in the universe or something, something along those lines. I don't want to miss I'm just you. saying that it's entirely, I, I suppose you're open to the idea that you can have an atheist worldview, you can have all these arguments for atheism, you can be an atheist, and yet still God exists. And given that scenario, how could an atheist who is constantly pursuing the justification of their atheistic worldview discover God? No, no it's not a matter of constantly I can pursuing it. You know, I can answer that it doesn't question work like very, that. I can answer that question very easy, uh, Sean, and it, 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 it might sound somewhat trite, but it's, it's the absolute truth. Um, evidence. It's as simple as that. Give me evidence, and I would be a, a fool not to believe. But are I you see no credible evidence. Seeking that evidence. Are you genuinely seeking that evidence? Uh, now, this comes back to the very first point. You know, once you've accepted that there's a universe and you can learn something of it, assumptions inherent in the statement, you know, I have a worldview, right? You must accept there is a way of actually telling what are the good models of reality and what are the bad ones. And this is where we sort of come into the scientific method. Sure. Now, so, uh, you know, in terms of worldview, we are identical. The only difference is you have this extra tier called religion on top of that, which doesn't abide by all of the rules that you actually accept and give you now, a good predictive model. You are correct. You are correct every other. You are right. And the reason that's the case is because when dealing with, you call it ultra-physical, supernatural, metaphysical, whatever you want to call it, it's science... All pointless, yeah. No, no, no. That's not all pointless. It's quite the opposite. Science only deals with the natural world. God, by definition, would be the creator and thus outside of it. So you can do all the science you want, and God can evade. Yeah. He can purposefully evade all the science. I'm sorry, can I, can I have to put a bubble you want? You know, I can say that there are things outside of logic. But just because I can imagine it, that, uh, that that's just pointless. It's not got you anywhere. It's not achieved anything. If I may, Thunder, just, this is actually an interesting point that I, I wanted to raise with you, Sean. Um, what I find um, curious or, or interesting, I suppose, is that 
Um, from what you've just said, and I think you, you've been fairly consistent um, in, in this position for a while anyway, um, you do not believe that science can in any way um, prove or disprove the existence of a god. I didn't now, say that. Oh, you didn't? Oh, well. Can I clarify? Um, I, know, I know what you're trying to say. Let me, let me clarify. Well, I don't know position. what I'm trying to say, but do carry on. God, because he exists outside the natural world, if he does not wish to be detected by natural uh, methods, can, ad can utterly evade all of them. Right. Okay. Well, my point, is this, God. My point was this. Um, um, a fellow young Earth creationist and uh, believer like yourself called Nephilim Free is firmly of the view that science does actually prove God. And so do I. I believe that. You do believe that. So yes. science does prove God. Well, what's your it best just can't him directly. What, well, what's your best scientific evidence for the existence of a, uh, a god or your well, god? First, first let me justify the statement that while God himself cannot be empirically tested, that is to say, you can't look in a microscope and say, aha, I have found God. Look, I am looking at God himself. I can't, uh, right now I'm looking at a computer monitor. I've never seen the person who made it, but I believe there are certain things that we can do with this computer monitor that would give us um, the information regarding uh, who made it, right? The reason that you know computer monitors is made is because you've seen lots of them made, but you have no such comparison for the universe. It's not like you've seen lots of universes made and therefore it's a reasonable extrapolation that the universe was made. Um, and the second uh, very brief point is this idea that there's a sort of supernatural domain that you can't test or see anything of. Well, I mean, you can speculate anything there. I mean, you can speculate every god ever conceived exists in this supernatural realm of yours. It's just a pointless speculation. I'm, not hey, I'm, go I'm, going, to, I'm going to I'm going to ask people to uh, effectively make their sort of like closing comments. I'm aware that it's now uh, sure. uh, ten minutes after when we would uh, normally stop. Um, Don, did you want to go first? Sure. Um, I'd like to proceed with a reading, if I may. Um, go for it. It's, I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Continue. Thank you for that. Um, I would just say that, can I get a word in? And I'll, These will be my closing please. statements. Yeah, please, Sean. Go ahead. I'm not sure who is listening. Um, I'm Venom Thang X from YouTube. Um, look me up, find my channel. Um, I just want to say that I really... What? Am I allowed to do a, 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 a selfless plug? Yeah. I'm just teasing you. Go ahead. All right, cool, man. Um, I've enjoyed this conversation. We should do it again. Thank you, uh, everyone who invited me um, and who participated. I really appreciate your time. And I just want to say, you know, if, if I didn't convince you that there is a God, I don't think I came into this trying to convince anyone. Um, like I said, I'm not here to convince anyone. I'm a witness. I've experienced God. I know he's real. And I just hope that you guys listening to me will say, you know what, that guy has experienced something, that there is something that has caused him to be so devoted to this uh, what you call nonsense is what I call, you know, is real. It, it's it's real. There's something more to this than the nonsense, and I, I just hope. I suspect. I, 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 know, I, I don't want to open up a new avenue of um, discussion, but what what I suspect, and this is uh, something that I was commenting on uh, last night as well, um, a, lo a lot of the conversations that the likes of Thunder Don and myself have with the likes of you, um, when we um, go through all the sort of like scientific nonsense and uh, whether there's scientific evidence uh, and the like uh, and get through that what normally happens is you end up at a position where uh, like you've just said uh, you have a personal experience you are firmly of the beliefs that you are uh, that's fine but a personal experience is not for me any evidence whatsoever uh, Can I say there something? are many people there are many people that think they've been abducted by aliens and yeah. their, their conviction is as strong as yours Personal and I believe is nothing. that something happened to them. You need to be able to explain what these experiences are. Christianity says that demons exist, that angels exist. These phenomena are explainable given a Christian framework. I have no idea how the atheist would explain. The I think they're much more explicable by the known uh, fallibility of the human mind as opposed to the unknown powers of the supernatural. And I would attribute atheism to the fallibility of the human mind. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for the conversation. Thank you. Thunder, did you want a last word? Yeah, there's a reason why society has looked the way that it has over the last 2,000 years since the beginning of Christianity. And 
that's basically we had Christianity for one and a half hours, well, the like best part of the last 2,000 years. Um, and it was only once we really got into uh, scientific naturalism about 300 years ago that society progressed to the point where it is now, where, um, you know, we can actually video conference from all over the world. I can, uh, um, whatever, defrost a pizza um, in um, a fairly warm country and so on. All of those benefits came to us through um, uh, scientific naturalism. None of them through Christianity. Thank God for giving us a brain. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you, uh, Thunder. Thank you, um, John Exodus. Uh, thank you for everyone that turned up and watched the show.